Hello everybody, a very good morning and welcome to Bella. I'm Elaine Daly and you're watching Bella Celebrity. I hope you're having a great Wednesday morning so far. I love it when it's midweek, you know, the weekend's coming up very, very soon. Anyway, yesterday we celebrated the 100th International Women's Day. So to all of you women out there, I hope the day empowered you as much as it did me. And to all the men out there, I hope you spoiled your ladies rotten. Anyway, today we're going to have a jam-packed show. We not only have one, but two celebrities in the Bella studio talking about the latest musical that's about to hit town very, very soon. All this and more on Bella. Oh my goodness, Amy Masura does not look a year older from when she won Asia Bagos back in the early 90s. Okay, well enough about that. Now in keeping with um, our guests who are coming on set very, very soon, let's take a look at the top cartoonists in Malaysia. Let's take a look at this. I think you're kind of getting the gist of what I'm going to be talking about later and who I'm going to be interviewing. Um, the man himself will not be here, but we've got from the cast and the producing director who will be on the show very, very shortly. Coming up after this, we have got the musical, Lat Kampung Boy Sebua musical, coming up very, very soon. And we've got actor and Atelier. And we've got the director and producer, Hans Isaac, coming here right on Bella. There you have it, Morning Glory looks like a fantastic film which is about to come out. If you do want to win some exclusive merchandise and some tickets, do write into us at bella at ntv7.com.my. Now, I'm very excited because I've got two friends in the studio with me today, but um, just to give you a little bit of a pre-am, we're talking about LUT. I'm sure all of you are very, very in tune with LUT comics if you've grown up in Malaysia. His comics has been translated into more than 13 languages and made into even a cartoon show. Now it's been given a new lease of life in the form of a musical theatre, LUT Kampung Boy Sabwa Music. Let's take a look at this. Now, ladies, if you're watching this show, I'm sure all of you, you know, can relate to this, you know, growing up with it and all that. And of course, for you ladies out there, I'm sure all of you are very excited. You should be very excited because I've got producer and co-director of this musical here with me, Mr. Hans Isaac. Hi. 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 Welcome to Bella. It's strange being here. <laughs> it's strange interviewing you. I know, it's really strange that, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> you've, got, you've got the t-shirt going and everything. Yes. Merchandise, merchandise. We have loads of merchandise, yeah. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about this musical. How did you even come up with it in the first place? Well, I, I can't take credit for it alone. I think uh, it was preempted to me by a friend after Chuchi the Musical. Um, Dato Iyaya, who never watched any local productions, and he watched Chichi the Musical 1. Okay. And he said, I was world class, so he said, you should do more. And I said, I, I have to think of what I have to do next. And he said, you know, that. So he prompted at the beginning, and I went to uh, Istana Budaya, and Istana mm -hmm. said, Institute Terjemah Negara Malaysia also wanted to do that. So uh, Abang Joe from Istana Budaya put both the companies together, and here we are. So it was a collaboration, collaboration. so to speak. Yeah. Okay, well, from the success of Chuchi, and you, mm. I mean, you acted in Chuchi, what made you decide to, you know, have a little transition and, and direct this? Are you nervous about it? Are you afraid? No, well, I think if I was a bit shorter and a bit plumber, I would have not selected Awi. You're dying to play Lat, right, actually. <laughs> Anybody, I think any, it's any actor's dream to play Lat, you know what I mean? It's not just me, I right. think any actor 
and the level of the script and the songs and stuff like that. We have a full orchestra backing the actors. I think that any act, it's any actor's dream to perform. If you're a true actor, you probably want to do theatre. Right. Okay. And a musical has everything. You know, we do in in Lat Kampung Boys for Musical. We have comedy. We have wonderful music. The music is world class. We have the biggest sets. It's uh, we did, without realizing it's become the biggest local production in Malaysian history. So does that mean uh, it was very expensive or it is very expensive? Well, it's cost us an arm and leg, a couple of millions. It's, it's the biggest budget. And I thought Chuchi was the biggest budget. Okay. This is, you know, we've gone a million above Chuchi. Well, looking at the is. smile on your face, I'm sure you're very secure. No, Ticket the, sales, no, a lot no, of people, no, a lot of people are, are already tweeting about it and saying yeah. that it's all sold out. No, 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 it's not sold out. Don't say that people are not good, you know what I mean? <laughs> they can't say it's sold out. We're selling about nearly 800 to 1,000 tickets a day. We've okay. already sold about 10,000. We have 30,000 tickets. So we were, we were up 30, 40% on sales already. So we still have tickets, but we've extended the show by two more uh, that's shows. Right, that's what I just read this morning. Fourth and the fifth, yeah. So we're fortunate to have people supporting it. Um, the good thing about it is it, the, the show opens in school holidays. Ah. So we, I purposely planned it that way, and, and so families will bring their kids. Because we've got the first it's five It's for all scenes, ages, it's right? It's for all ages. Lat, it's lat. Yeah. Then, you know what I mean? So. Uh, the first five scenes are literally about just the kids of Lut the boy, you know, mm -hmm. and his friends mm -hmm. and in school and Mrs. Hugh and his father's relationship with him okay. in the kampung and so on. So, you know, it's a family going production and, and we purposely did it on school holidays. So moms out there, bring your kids, you know, bring your sisters, bring your moms, bring everyone, you know. Here, here. Okay, let's talk a, lo a little bit about the involvement of Dr. Lut himself in, yeah. in this whole thing. How, how involved is he? Um, well, I get SMSs from him every other day. Okay. <laughs> I've actually hired his daughter to work for us, June. Ah, cool. So she gives us most of the information, and she's like corresponding between Dr. Lat and us. But I get SMSs here and there mm -hmm. when he, when he, yeah, Dr. Lat doesn't react to things very quickly. So he takes about 48 hours before he decides, you know, hey, Hans, you know what, that scene, you know, I, I would see it this way also. So we're very fortunate to have him next to us all the way through to give us the details of his life. Whereby sometimes when you're doing uh, you know, a story about someone who's not there anymore, you, yeah. you don't have any reference, you know. So we literally have the reference from him. We're fortunate to have him with us, you know. Right, and right, he loves right. music. So when you heard the music, he went, world class. I said, yep, it's world class. I'm very proud to say we've Must got a world be. class production, yeah. Okay, and you work with Michael Verapan, who is the musical yeah. director yes. on this. And he's obviously very brilliant in coming up yes. with the music and stuff. Mm -hmm. But weirdly, when I met him, we actually <coughs> met three or four musical directors before I decided on Michael Verapan. But the conversation I had with Michael, he visioned the scenes that Harith and me had. You know, I'm co-directing this with Harith, uh, everyone. You know, That's he, right. he, he's done a lot of work to put this production together, and I don't think I could have done this production without Harith. Okay. He's writing the script too. But cool. Michael has come out of his box, and you know, he's done stuff that he feels that this is the, one of his masterpieces that he's done, the mm. whole musical piece. With about 20, 12 songs and about six uh, reprises in, in the musical. Right. It's about two and a half hour musical, you know. Okay. Yeah. And Saturdays we have three o'clock, so guys, you know, for the kids come at three o'clock, Saturday, Sunday, matinee shows. <laughs> a good way to spend your Saturday <laughs> afternoon, kids. It is, you know, it is, it is. It's, it's going to be entertaining and fun. Okay, well, I, I'm sure you did a lot of research and all that before, yeah. and, and, you know, I read in, in some of your interviews uh, yesterday, I was reading online, and you, and you said that you made a lot of trips to Ipoh where Dr. Yeah. Lut is staying. Yeah. Um, did you have to vet, did he, did he have to vet the script and, and, and stuff like that before well, you actually... He's quite, he respects what Haritha me do, and he, he keeps saying to us, you're the best in what you do. Do what you, you know how to, you know what I mean, uh, the best, in your best abilities. And, but when we made the trips there, it was very difficult because Dr. Lad is a very unique man. He, he was, Haritha me sat there with our notepads mm -hmm. and he started telling stories and he wouldn't finish the story and he continued to another story. <laughs> in four hours, we had 150 stories. So how did we went back to the hotel room, we said, goes, okay, this is a bit too much. We need to now control this and pick the parts that we want. And affiliating to the comic book, uh, the cartoon book, uh, Kampung Boy. Mm -hmm. So it's just, if, if you see the cartoon book, it's pictures, still pictures. What we've done is now we're taking those pictures to and extending the story mm -hmm. in visual and live performance, you know. So a lot of stuff that you don't know about that to a lot and his life, we're actually showing it in the musical. Oh, There's a lot cool. of stuff, There's about four or five points that people don't know about him that we're actually going to Surprises gonna are always, always Yeah, fun. so when he watches, he's like, oh, you're telling that part of me? I said, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about your role as a director. This mm. is your directorial debut when it comes to theatre yeah. musicals. Yeah. How's it been for you? 
You see the Louis Vuitton to my eyes. <laughs> not the bag. <laughs> big suit, big suitcases. <laughs> I haven't slept. Uh, I, I get about three hours sleep a day the past month and a half. I spent about 18 hours working production. So do, do you feel like it's like a completely different role? I mean, uh, you know, mm. to direct someone because you've always been mm. used to being director yourself, oh, right? Yeah. The, yeah. For many years, I've been being directed by my friends and people I respect as directors, but. I have directed films, TV productions, uh, music videos, documentaries, and so on. So I don't think that's the issue of how I know how to direct them. Because mm. I, I think I know what an actor wants, sure. you know. And I always picture myself on stage as an actor going, you know, I won't look good doing this, so how do I protect the actor and the story mm. and still tell the story? So it's very important to, 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 to work with them. And they're wonderful actors. I have a great cast, you know, Awi Atilia, Sandra Sodi, Douglas Slim, Omar Abdullah, Jalal Hamid, and Daniel, this kid. The kids, Lane, you've got to watch the kids. Okay, okay. Before we go on to the, the cast, yeah. uh, we're going to be taking a short break. When we yeah, do come break. back, we will be talking to Atilia, who's going to be playing Dato Lat's wife, Faiza. Coming up, all on Bella. That Kampong Boy Sebuah Musical, I've just been talking to the producer and co-director Hans Isaac. Now I'd like to bring out an actress, a good friend of mine, the very beautiful Atilia. Woohoo! Hello Atilia. Hi. Good morning and welcome to Bella. Thank you very much. Thank nice you to have you on set. Thank you for having us. Okay. I love this chair, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, now let's just uh, ask you a little bit. I mean, we, we don't have very much time, but we, we just try to cram as much okay, as we can. Okay, you play Faiza. I play this wonderful woman, Faiza. I think Faiza that twice. And uh, she is amazing. I had the po uh, opportunity to meet her twice. Okay. And she's really, she's a super cool chick, I, you know. And super she's cool chick. Mm. Very, very cool. cool. She's very strong. She knows what she wants. And she's not very manja. She's not very, you know. Okay. She's very... Not Atilia. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not Atilia. Oh, okay. So, so that was my next question. question. Do you both have any similarities, and is that why Hans picked you for the role? No, at all, right? <laughs> no, actually, was, uh, the physical look was uh, matched a little bit from okay. the yeah. character, and obviously she's got she's got all the talent. Mm. So you know, we casted a few big names out there. <laughs> She came up tops, you know. Right, yeah. right. Okay, well, speaking about the casting process, as you said just now, how did you come about picking Awi and, you know? Well, Awi was a no-brainer. Um, you know, we knew we need somebody short enough as lat and fat enough as lat, so it was Awi. Fat enough? Yeah, yeah. 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 every day. And Pera accent. Yeah, right? the Pera accent, I you know. Yeah, Plus, when Awi sings, all the women listen. Of and course. Oh! Yeah, you know, and I have fallen in love know. with Awi. Yeah, oh, we're just here. props. I'm here to props in Harith's assistant. Yeah, every time I yeah. see Awi, hi baby, and when I see Hans, what's up? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, well we, all, like, we, we all know Awi as this, you know, rocker, right? Yeah. And now he plays a very cute character, Lutz, the kampung boy. Very cute. I mean, did he have to, you know, go through image changes, his hair or whatever? Because I'm just having a visual here. Because I say Awi. I don't know if it's right or not. Awi be a rocker on stage, uh, sebenarnya. Actually, okay. in, uh, in his heart, he's got like a little taman. <laughs> he's got lots of flowers and he's very cute and he's very charming. And every time I look at him sing, when, I, when we have our scenes together, I just like, huh. Right. And he's been so easy to work with, you know? Yeah, we've just and been asking, really what about your chemistry? I mean, how's that been? I, I've not worked with Awi before. This is my first time ever. And I was very nervous, especially knowing that I'm going to have to sing with Awi. I'll probably faint on my first night, huh, by the way? <laughs> so, um, okay, that's uh, assuring. I had a lot of... Um, couldn't sleep the night before the first rehearsal, but when I met Awi, everything was just like... Da -da 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 -da. He's just... Very nice, very nice guy, very down to earth. Very chilled out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the kids. Now, you have, what, 16 children hmm. involved in this. What has it been like? Has it been like a madness, mayhem? Or? Well, as Harry said in the press conference yesterday, you know, um, after working with the 16 kids, he's going like, maybe we'll consider having kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, they're, they're, you know, yesterday at the press conference, they sang, and the media were just, wow. Blown and away. With them singing, they went... 
this is world class. Mm. That's the first question that came out of the media is, uh, uh, you know, first question they asked me, said, does that look world class? Mm. So I said, you know, they've worked very hard, these kids. You know, they come in early, and we call them a call time at 2 o'clock, they'll come yeah. at 12 o'clock and lie to their parents. Because they like hanging out with us, yeah. and they want to work, you know what I mean? How did you cast them for it? Well, over 300 kids came in for the casting. It was open casting. Wow. Sh I sh personally shortlisted 50, and then brought the 50 back, and then picked 16. Okay. So they were, they were, you know, and I didn't pick the lat boy mm -hmm. until two weeks into rehearsals. So everybody had to play oh, their part. Oh, there's a boy that plays yes. little lat. So it's very talented. Ah. Very, he's into Daniel. Right. He's very, very talented. You know, he's going to be a big star. Well. He's okay. going to be a big star. I mean, just to tease our audience just a little bit, maybe you can take us through, I mean, you know, what the whole thing is all about. From yeah. the beginning, maybe. Uh, and how long is it? How long is it? It's a two and a half hour show. It's about two and a half okay, hours. Okay, so it's not four hours. Two. It's not a chuchi. <laughs> No, I'm too cheap. Yeah, it's not too cheap. We ad lip too much, and it's up in our week's fall. All the ad lipping and too cheap. So sorry, guys. Oh, okay. but anyway, this yeah, is just our production. Quite strict, so so take us through the story. It opens with Lat as a small boy with his dad mm -hmm. and his family and his kampung, and then they move on to the, the to, to town where he meets his friend Frankie, who's uh, played by Douglas. He's an oh, Alim. Okay. Alim is there. Right. Why is he Alim? We call him. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, anyway. I call him a lot of other stuff, but you <laughs> He's know. really funny. Every so time funny. he does his scenes, there's something different, and he just adds on to everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he meets me. They fall in love. They get married. And um, please don't tell the ending. Okay, don't tell the. Yeah, don't tell the. Just like, like. <laughs> please please don't tell the ending. But, but, but you know, in short, it's 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 an all-round production. You know, you've got a great story, great music, comedy, we're going to make you cry, you know, it's got a drama, and technically we're showing some stuff that's never been shown in Malaysia. Uh -huh. If you can imagine like London, London yeah, Winter, uh. London Winter, does it snow in Malaysia? <gasps> we're going to make it snow. We're going to have snow in yeah. Santa Budaya. So we're going to, you know, we're going to have live <laughs> stuff on stage that you're going to be shocked when the opening scene happens, you're going to be, was that a real thing walking by? Yeah. Things like that are going to happen, you know what I mean? That you're but gonna the shock best you. thing for me is that I think it's the songs. I've got yeah. three beautiful songs and... I call uh, it masterpieces. Can you yeah, skip for us or not? Can I? Oh, yeah, sure. Give, yeah. give us a little teaser. I'm going to sing my uh, rant. Try it. I don't, I don't know. You want to do that? You want to do that? You can save that for the, you know. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's my favorite. Come on, rest for us. Actually, I have a favorite. My favorite is actually a duet, a duet uh, with Sandra and Atelia. I, when they, when they, I, I literally, first time they sang it, I cried. I read wow. the way too. Like, wow. like, I didn't like, know that. Yeah, we, we didn't realize, oh, yeah, well, you know. Okay, let's, give us a little bit, Atelia. Tell me, man. Mm. If I say, the man you need me, get a job, let the no. Ah, the ah. Loga, Celia. <laughs> okay, we've got a little uh, video. Maybe you guys can take us through it, which is going to come on the screen very, very soon. So what was this? Ah, this is your press conference. Yes, yesterday, um, the kids were very nervous, but when they got up there, I was very shocked. They were excited and they were going for it, and I was just like, wow, you know. Suddenly, and I asked them after that, I said, you know, are you guys, you guys excited? Because, no, we're ready to perform it for the audience. Wow, and we want to get on stage, you know. So they said, we've rehearsed enough, we've done what we need to do, we are all ready, you know. They're nervous, but they're ready, you know. Okay, now, I mean, a lot of people want to know this. What about your set design? What's going Ooh. on there? It's because, without realizing, it's, as I said, it's become the biggest production in Malaysian history. We have 23 sets, and they're massive. From bringing 23 the cartoon, sets? Yeah. Oh my gosh. From okay. bringing the cartoon characters to the beginning, to keeping that, that uh, uh, consistency of large cartoon, the black and white, to developing into color. So we're designing, the whole design's actually thought of from scene to scene. Our community sat down and said, okay, this is how we're going to play the story out, you know what I mean, and, and execute it. Um, kind of also, uh, our set designer has, has done stuff that, you know, she goes, let's try it. It's never been done in Malaysia. Let's try this. So when, when I hear it's never been done in Malaysia, I go, all right, let's do it. You know what I mean? Mm. I like that, that line, never been done in Malaysia. New surprises. Yeah. Okay, now before we end, we've got to go very soon. Um, last shout out to our audience out there. I have two things. One is the tickets. <laughs> As a producer, <laughs> I have to do this. It's uh, www.tickettoyou.biz or ticketoyou.biz or you can call 4147-8600. We get about 1,000 tickets sold a day, Lane. Yeah. So wow. Oh, and wow. Don't, wait, don't wait till the end. The Malaysians love to do this. They wait for the last two, three days and we're always sold out the last week. So get your tickets early and the first two shows we have 20% discounts on all tickets. Oh, cool. And then the second thing is, hi, mum. Hi, Auntie. Auntie. I got my tickets already, right? Yes, I got your tickets. My mom's got a ticket. Everybody has a ticket. Okay, yeah. and we, of course, are very generous in Bella. We're going to be giving away a couple of tickets. That's right. We've got a contest. Your question is, who plays 
the lead character in Lut, the musical. No. <laughs> Me. And instead of a slogan... All you have to do is answer this question. Who plays Lut the Kampong Boy? And send us your answer and drawing of Lut the Kampong Boy to bell at ntv7.com.my together with your name, IC number and contact details. There you go. I can't wait to watch it. It starts on the 16th of March no, and it ends week. on the 5th Woo. of April. Good luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you so yeah, much for being in the show. I know you guys must be exhausted and running off to rehearsals yeah. after this. Yeah, Thank away. you so much, Hans, Isaac and Natalia. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, now before we wrap, we've got a little something special from Bella. If you want to give your brother, father, grandfather, son a makeover, do write into Bella at mtv7.com.my. I'm Elaine Daly. I'm wishing you a very good day ahead, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.